Hello everybody, welcome to another episode of Through the Mail Monday. This first return is from Phoenix, Arizona. Looks like it got a little wet right there. Always a little worrisome. Let's see what kind of shape this is in. All right. Oh, heck yeah, finally. Brett Butler, all right, man. He was a one-time Met, but mostly known for his time with the Giants, Indians, and Dodgers. I think he only played for the Mets for a year. That, those are sharp right there. I like that white uniform with his signature really pops on that. The Donruss is not bad either. In fact, I like them all. Of course I like them all. They're all inked up. They look great. Thank you, Mr. Butler. Awesome return. Uh, he takes a little bit of time, but uh, I'm not. I'm going to... I'm gonna come clean here. I actually have uh, another uh, re another request out there to Brett Butler, which is probably sitting in his house somewhere. Actually, guys, now checking out my spreadsheet. This is actually my recent request that I sent about two weeks ago. So that means the request I sent back in February, on February 11th of this year, is probably a loss. So that was five cards. So it does happen. You do lose some stuff in the mail. Um, hundreds of request this year so far and I think that's probably my first confirmed loss. I mean he might have it laying around the house somewhere but I, I doubt it. If he got this back to me in 12 days, uh, the February which is what seven months ago now is probably uh, is probably gone for good. Okay guys I have no idea who this is from but it's uh, looks like whoever open the envelope, use a pair of scissors, and cut my SASC just a tiny little bit. So let's see who we got. We made it hard to open, I know that. Oh, I feel a top loader or something. I do not send many top loaders out there. It's got a cardinal stamp on it, so... I sent this a long time ago. I have not had the bird stamps in a long time. Alright, Mike Bordick. This has been a while. Bordick primarily played for Oakland and Baltimore. He was actually traded from Baltimore to the Mets in late 2000 during the Mets um, playoff drive. And, of course, they had that Subway World Series in 2000 where the Mets faced the all-steroid New York Yankees and lost, unfortunately. Uh, Baltimore re-signed him again the next year in the offseason, so he was only a Met for... Uh, 56 games total plus the playoffs and uh, they made two cards of his and here they are signed they look great speaking of steroids who did the Mets trade in that 2000 deal to get Mike Bordick they traded Melvin Mora who went on to have a pretty decent career for Baltimore as long as he was on the sauce he produced for them I have no idea who this is I mean I don't know who any of these are. There's like literally like maybe one or two I actually knew who it was. So I should probably stop saying that because it's getting a little redundant. It doesn't really add anything to the video. I got a few cards in here. I think I see a Mets logo. I'm looking through the camera because the camera's in the way. I can't see the actual envelope. So let's just check this out. I'm, I'm getting excited all of a sudden. All right. Check this out. Tim Bogar. Tim Bogar. Oh, wow, look at... Ah, it's just a little scuffed up there, a little scratched. But dang, look at that. I like these Top's Finest cards. And uh, that was almost super sweet. I'll just... I'll just... I'll downgrade it to just sweet, but it could have been much cooler. Oh, no, never mind. Favorite. Favorite of the lot here. You guys can't even see it because I'm just not even paying attention to my camera. But there it is, dead center. Beautiful signature. Again, a little bit scuffed up here as well, but Tim Bogar played during the era of some pretty nice looking cards. I mean, early 90s cards were actually pretty sweet. They were doing some nice stuff. Even the finest was pretty cool. Um, this might be the cleanest card I have. Well, all the cards have a little imperfection in them. Tim Bogar is right now uh, with the Washington Nationals, so I guess I should have known Capital District coming from the Nationals, so uh, this is actually a TTM I sent off to the team 
and just got it back so not sure probably 14 15 days on the return maybe three weeks so average length return for tim bogar i loved him as a met he was okay not bad he was no benny ogbayani but i enjoyed him and how about that 1990s heavy this week for through the mail monday thanks guys for watching i hope you enjoyed it please like the video comment down below and subscribe if you haven't already i do this every monday if you haven't figured it out by now so tons and tons 31 episodes to be exact archived down below in the comment section you guys can click around down there and check out some of my older videos overall pretty happy with this week's returns tim bogar brett butler and Mike Bordick. Thanks guys for watching. Hope you guys have a great week and I will see you again later on in the week with another video. I'm I'm out of town right now. I'm on the coast right now. So I'm um, going to try and get something else up by the end of the week. If not, don't be alarmed. I just got behind and I'm having too much fun on the Oregon coast. So don't fret guys. I'll at least be back next Monday with another Through the Mail Monday. So you can stay tuned for that. Thanks guys for watching.